Joined at Wentworth Park tonight by James Tedesco. James, what brings you to the dogs? Yeah, just come over here, Mitch, come down to um, support the event. So it's good to present um, the winners and get a few photos of the kids. So it's been a good night. Well, it's, it's, tonight it was all about representing New South Wales. And, and obviously you have on plenty of times. So you've captained the, you've had captained the state. Uh, mate, what's, what's it mean in your career to be playing for and particularly captain in New South Wales? Oh, yeah, it's, there's, no, there's no higher honour. I think, obviously, Origin this is a pinnacle. Rugby League obviously represents Australia is um, the highest honour, but um, State of Origin is such a huge event for New South Wales and Queensland. So um, I had plenty of opportunities to represent New South Wales as well. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad the boys could get the job done this year because obviously we played the first game, we got the loss, but then um, the way the boys were able to rally and, and, and get a win, there's no... There's no better feeling than that because the whole New South Wales is behind you and um, yeah, so I was really happy for him. And as you said, you're in the first game, you didn't play in the other two, but you're still a part of it, aren't you? Yeah, 100%. I'm, uh, I'll, I'll be still a part of it for the rest of my life, mm. really. I'll be supporting New South Wales no matter what and uh, I think that's the, the great thing about once you've represented New South Wales first once or 20 times, uh, you're a part of the family and it just means so much. So the way that I was sort of able to create history winning up there hasn't been done for, for a long time mm. in the cider, so um, I think all of South Wales is a part of that for sure. Now, is there an origin memory that stands out for you? Um, yeah, probably 2019. Um, we won the cider in Sydney and I scored a, a last minute mm. try um, in front of all the home fans um, you know, on the buzzer to win the game. Doesn't, doesn't get much better than that. The, the support um, in that game and the support after it was, was, was unreal. So that's a memory I'll remember for that for sure. Right. Right. Is, that, is that kid kid stuff that you dream about, those last minute try to win the game? 100%. I'll be in the. Uh, I was in the backyard pretending I was certain players, Brad Fittler, uh, Andrew Johns, you know, setting up the winning trial, scoring the winning try, and we're playing against myself. You saw I was best queen there, so uh, I had plenty of, plenty of times like that in the backyard. And um, when you're able to, re you know, live those dreams out, um, it doesn't get any better than that, for sure. Mate, you missed those two Origin games, but it gave you the opportunity to keep building things with the Roosters. 150 games up for the club yeah. a couple of weeks ago. It's a, it's a good honour considering the way things have gone. Yeah, 100%. I think it's a, it's a taxing time, the whole six-week period um, during Origin. Mm. Um, you know, your body's under fatigue. Uh, mentally, you, you're sort of under a lot of stress. So this year it was good to sort of have a bit of a break during that time. Uh, obviously, you, you want to play for as little while every time you can. But um, for me to sort of have a, have a bit of a rest during that time, enjoy a bye week, have a rest, put all my energy in the, into leading the roost as well. Uh, I think it's been a good period for us, so we're sitting third at the moment. Uh, we're in a good position, we just need to continue that now. We've got to buy this week, we can rest up again and um, get ready for the back end of the year and hopefully um, have another good finals run. Mate, uh, Penrith and Melbourne, the obvious teams to beat at this stage? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Melbourne are winning pretty convincingly now. We've um, yeah, we had a loss against them a couple of weeks ago, which is disappointing for us because we, we, we want to be beating the top teams and them and uh, Penrith are definitely setting the tone. So. Um, yeah, we've got, a, we've got four games into the finals. Hopefully we can um, get ourselves into some form where everyone can stay healthy, fingers crossed, and then have a real good shot at the finals against those two teams. Mate, there's, there's always a lot of talk that it's usually the last game of the regular season, South versus the Roosters. Yeah. Does, does it really mean that much to the players, or is it more of a fan's thing? Um, it's definitely, there's definitely some um, yeah, feeling, that extra feeling and extra intensity in our games versus South Sydney, and that is caused because of the fans and because of the rivalry and because we're just next to each other. Um, you know, and a lot of the fans are, are, are mates normally, but then when South vs Roosters, um, they tend to hate each other. So uh, it does create a bit of a buzz, and there's always that lot of history there of, of that rivalry going back a long time. But um, yeah, it'll, it'll it'll be a good good game for us. And I don't, I don't know if South is still a chance to finals, but I'm sure I'm sure we'll still get a, a packed crowd and a big atmosphere for sure. Mate, thanks for joining us tonight. No worries, thank you.